Oh, hey, everybody. It's uh, it's just me. It's just me talking at you here. I don't know why I do all that uh, silly branding stuff all the time where I say my name and I talk about my YouTube channel. I'm really just like talking to a handful of people who know me and some randoms who happen to come across this shit. I don't have to be all fucking fancy dancy for you fucking people. I can just show up in the morning and do what I do. So, uh, oh man, so there's a trailer for the new Joker movie. I thought I'd talk about that for a couple of moments because who gives a fuck, right? Not me. Not me, I don't care. No, seriously. Um, What do we think? What do we think about this? I didn't watch the first Joker movie because, okay, here's the thing. I don't think these movies need to be called Joker. I think you could call that first Joker movie and the second Joker movie, you could just call them The Sad Clown. You could just call them The Sad Clown. You could take out any references to the DC Universe, any references to Batman, just take them out and just say, hey, I made a sad clown movie. Oh, it's it's Joaquin Phoenix as a as a sad clown. Sad clown who kills some people, kills a dude, kills a dude on TV, and then uh, here's the sequel to it. This is such a complex thing for me to get into, because, like, I'm a comic book guy. I grew up reading comic books. I work in a comic book store. Like, comic books are my culture. And it's funny. I'm not really a big DC Comics guy, which is weird considering the writers that I like. Like, I'm not super into Batman. I'm not super into the Joker. But that's funny because two of my favorite writers are Grant Morrison and Frank Miller, two people who have made those characters famous and have infamously done some of the best writing involved on them. And I've really enjoyed those stories. I'm a big fan of Frank Miller's Year One. I'm less of a fan of Morrison's stuff with Batman. I'm just I'm just not really a big Batman guy, generally speaking. And same thing for the Joker. He's just not a character who has a lot of appeal to me. I don't really get him. There are things I get about the Joker because I've read a lot of comic books. And when I see this movie, I don't really see what makes that character so appealing to me. If I'm going to watch a Joker movie, I'm kind of like, where's where's all the sci-fi stuff? You know, where's his gases? Where's him robbing a bank with chattering teeth that explode? Where's him teleporting to a moon base to talk to a telepathic gorilla because he's part of the Injustice League? That's the stuff that I find really interesting. I really... (laughs) I don't even know if I find it interesting. I just... That's the stuff I think of when I think of the Joker and this idea of like... (laughs) <laughs> the funny thing about this Joker movie is it reminds me of a Patton Oswalt bit, and if I can't find it, then I'll just cut this out of it, but Patton Oswalt had this thing about how all of George Lucas's prequel Star Wars movies basically were just like, hey, remember that character you really liked? Well, now he's now he's a really sad, now he's a sad boy. Oh, isn't that interesting? Oh, it turns out he was a sad boy all along. Uh, do you like Darth Vader? I fucking, I fucking love Darth Vader, dude. The, the helmet and the cape with the sword, that's... Right, man. Is he in the first movie? Uh, yeah, in the first movie, you get to see him as a little kid. Uh, is he like a little Damien Omen kid, like evil and killing people with his mind and shit like that? No, he's just like this little kid, and then he gets taken away from his mom, and he's very sad. This is sort of the same thing of like, whoa, the Joker, you know, that maniacal, laughing, crazy, satirically violent, off the wall, surrealist crime guy? Well, well, now he's a sad guy. Oh, he's a sad guy. Oh, he's a real sad guy. And that's it. It's a story about a sad guy. It just, it doesn't do anything for me. It doesn't really appeal to me. It's, it's not my bag. I'm not shitting on people who like it. It's just not my kind of thing. I didn't wind up watching it. I see this new one. I'm just like, why? Why call it Joker? Why not just call it the sad clown? You know, it doesn't have to have anything to do with Joker DC Comics and doesn't look like it does. Where's his fucking purple suit? Where's his killing people with an electric hand buzzer? Where's the shit that made that character a comic book character? It's like you took everything out of it and we're just left with a sad clown. I don't see the appeal of that. I don't see why I would want to watch something like this. So I didn't. (laughs) So I didn't watch the first one. I won't watch the second one. I don't have any strong opinions on the trailer. And this is almost a sarcastic video that I'm posting of like, whoa, wouldn't it be interesting if I had an opinion on a trailer? Everybody's on fucking YouTube going like, hey, let's give a first look. Here's all the Easter eggs in this trailer. Here's what I think of this trailer. And my opinion on the trailer is like, I don't really care because I'm not going to watch it. And I didn't watch the first one. It's like, why even record this? Why even record this at all? Well, because the thoughts were going through my head that I did watch the trailer. And I was thinking, this doesn't look like a Joker movie. This doesn't look like the DC comic book character. The Joker! (laughs) It just looks like a fucking sad clown movie. A movie about a sad clown. Starring Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix. I don't know how to say his name. Joker Phoenix. It just looks dull and pointless to me. But then, 
you know, who am I to fucking judge, man? A lot of people think I'm fucking dull and pointless, so, you know, fuck it. That's just how people fucking go, man. I'm not, not here telling them how to live their fucking lives, am I? I don't know. The new Joker trailer looked really boring, and just like the previous movie that it's a sequel to looked boring to me. To me, I know other people fucking loved it, and they're going to be like, Whoa, you didn't even watch it? You didn't like it? Fucking whatever, man. I did not care for the Joker. What? Did not care for Joker. Uh, How can you even say that, Dad? Didn't like, didn't like it. Peter, it's so good. It's this, like the perfect movie. I, this is what everyone always says. Well, how, how can you say you don't like it if you haven't even given it a chance? I but, agree with Joey. It's not really fair. So. Yeah. Yeah, whatever, man. Whatever. Joker. I guess that's what I have to say about that. Do I have anything more to say about that? I don't know. Fucking whatever, man. Fucking whatever. Thanks for watching this video. <laughs> Fucking whatever.